Um, you guys know how, how tough Matthew is. This will be a deal where, where we'll take it to the end of the week. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's a little bit better this, um, this afternoon than he was this morning. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes and how he can progress. And then the other one is um, Jeff Okuda. He'll be having surgery tomorrow. So we will uh, place him on IR somewhere during the week. So with that, open it for questions. All right, Mike, start us off. Yeah, with Matthew, what is it that you need to see from him? And we all know how tough he is. Do you almost have to be somebody with him that you might have to hold him back a little bit because he might just want to play because that's who he is? Well, for sure, he's, you know, that, I mean, that is definitely who he is. But, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to use, you know, all the, all the resources that we have at our disposal, which is, you know, we have a, um, the, the athletic training staff, we got doctors, um, and then obviously he'll have a big say in, in how he's feeling. But, you know, we'll, we'll test, we'll, we'll um, look at the test with our eyes. We'll see how he's performing. But it'll be, uh, Mike, just basically performance-based. And if he's going to be able to, to function at a high enough level, one, to perform well, and two, to be able to protect himself. And I know he had x-rays yesterday. You didn't have that information then. Did he break any ribs? Um, right now, the x-rays were negative. Okay. Thank you. Dave? Uh, you said his ribs. So is it one rib and, and what's going on with the rib, I guess? Uh, that, Dave, that's about as much. I can't even see it, actually. But that's about as much information as I have. Um, you know, they, they x-rayed the rib area. And, um, you know, that's, that's where he's feeling the pain in that side on his left side. Um, you, you obviously played the quarterback position, so <clears throat> excuse me. what was the most serious rib injury you had? How did it impact you? Like, how, how does that impact the quarterback, I guess? Yeah, I think it's, you know, it, it's the rotational part. They're going to have to determine how he's going to be able to feel during the week. You know, and I think it's, it's different depending on which side it's on, to be honest with you. You know, on your, on your left side, you use that a little bit more than your right side. Um, so, you know, as I said, we'll just have to kind of monitor it and see how he's feeling and see how much he can push through it or not. All right, thank you. Yep, Larry. Talk about the uh, the other two quarterbacks that you have. Obviously, we've seen Chase Daniel, and, and we know a lot about him, relatively speaking. But also David Blau, what you've seen from him in practice, and and how maybe the week of practice at least is an opportunity to get those guys more reps and see what they can do and uh, and whatnot. Yeah, well, early in the week for sure, they're going to be getting more reps as you know as we monitor Matthew and see where he's at. Um, you know, I thought Chase did a nice job coming into the game in that situation. It's always a tough situation. Um, and he was, you know, able to get us down there and get us some points. Uh, made a big throw to, on that uh, conversion to, to Marv. Um, and then David Blau, I mean, he played five games for us last year. You know, he played at a high level. Um, he's only better from all the preparation that he, that he has another year in the system. Um, I mean, you'll always see that guy working. He's always right side by side with the, with the other two quarterbacks. They communicate really well. It's a, it's a great room. Uh, there's a lot of give and take in there. There's a lot of information shared. And then you'll always see that kid staying after practice. You know, he'll, he'll take a bunch of scout team reps and then he'll stay after practice. And there's a couple of receivers that he'll get and he'll kind of take himself through another practice. So um, I got nothing but confidence if, if we ended up going with David as well. All right. Anything else, guys? All right. Yeah, Bev, I'll, I'll jump back in here for a second. Just one last thing on Stafford. And what like what was your communication with him? I guess last night and this morning because we know how much it takes for him to to even be in this spot. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make sure I touched base with him. You know, I, I touched base with him in the locker room, um, and then you know I, I touched base with him when he got when he got home, seeing seeing where he was. Touch you know talked to him first thing this morning, and more. It's just it's you know checking on his health. You know nothing nothing about the game, anything like that. Just seeing how he's doing, how he's progressing. Uh, where his mindset is and those kind of things. And I mean, he's a, you know, he's, he's a true warrior. I mean, that guy loves to play football and um, it's going to take a lot to keep him out. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yep. All right. We'll go three more, Tim. Hey, Ben, thanks for taking the time. Uh, I don't know how much on a Monday do you start working ahead and looking at Tennessee, but but if you do, and, and obviously the, the tough task of Derek Henry this week, just, what you see from him, and he's such a kind of transformable player. I mean, you know, how he's changed the position with the size and speed. Just, just curious, um, your your thoughts on him and, and that tough task this week. 
Yeah, um, I haven't I haven't been able to watch any any Tennessee yet. We're still all uh, finishing up today with uh, with the game last night. Uh, but obviously, I've seen enough <laughs> seen enough of him to of Derrick Henry, you know, to to know uh, what what he brings. And I mean, that's I, th- I think he just had an, uh, a game over 200 yards again. Am I correct there? You yeah. know, and that guy's uh, I mean, he's he's big, he's fast, he's strong, and uh, you know, it's going to take a full team effort, you know, the whole team to tackle the guy. And um, you know, we'll. We'll start working on that tomorrow, but it's going to be, a, you know, again, it's going to be another good task for us. Jen? Hey, Bev, you had mentioned uh, that there's still a lot to play for this week, obviously with three games left, and I believe the playoff probability is down to 1% with so many other moving parts. What is your message or, or what is the belief among the team of what there is to play for at this juncture in the season? So you're saying there's a chance, right? I'm saying there's a Why chance. Play these games. We're, we're going to get We're going to get them playing. Um, and just like I said, when I started this thing, um, it's, it, you know, it, this is an opportunity for all of us. And it's an opportunity for all of us, whether it's going to be on this team, whether it's another team. People are watching. They want they want to see how the Detroit Lions are going to react. And, you know, if they're just going to throw in the towel or if they're going to keep fighting. And, um, you know, if I have anything to say about it or these players do, uh, we're going to keep fighting. And, you know, 1%, we'll take it. I don't even know if that's right, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it. Kyle, last one. Yeah, with um, hey Beth, thanks for your time. Um, with the news that Okuda is going to go on IR and uh, uh, have the surgery, I'm just curious if you could maybe wrap up the kind of rookie season that he had. You know, it's a tough position for rookies, and he had his struggles. Um, I'm curious what you know what you've seen from him and his development, you know, going forward. Yeah, I mean, I think he's, I think he's going to have a bright future. You know, it's it's been a tough um, a tough year for him. You know, he's kind of in and out of the lineup a little bit with with injuries. And that, you know, that can happen with a young player. And, you know, you got to get your body used to this grind and this, um, this type of season that, that you have in the, in the National Football League. And I think he'll, he'll only be better for what he's gone through this year. And, uh, you know, uh, I expect him to, to go out and uh, get the surgery, come back with, a, you know, a, a renewed attitude and, a, you know, renewed effort to, to get himself in shape, to get himself ready to play and ready for this grind. Thanks, sir. Yep. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everybody. All righty. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Eamon. And, Coach, it was the New York Times that said 1%. Okay. It's reputable. Let's go.